Reverend Insanity Chapter 131 Loneliness is the Deepest Darkness The rain poured heavily from above and snake-like lightning danced in the sky randomly. This sustained for the entire night. Fang Yuan lay on his bed, hearing the shouting of Gu masters outside his house and the sound of their footsteps in the rain. He squinted his eyes, visions of his past life flashing in his head again. In his previous life when the wolf tide attacked, he was still a rank one Gu master, and being part of the support group, he hid within the village and managed to escape the disastrous fate. But this time, he was already a rank two middle stage, and he had the four-flavor liquor worm currently moving towards upper stage. Thus, he had to be like other goo masters, resisting the wolf tide in such a dark night. The rain is pouring outside, and they still have to fight the large amount of lightning wolves in this poor vision. This is truly torture, Fang Yuan snorted in his heart. He did not sleep in the rented apartment, but instead he was at the inn. If Fang Yuan was at the rented house, he would definitely be forced to participate. The clan higher-ups have definitely underestimated this wolf-tide severity. The correct method would be to hide in the village and defend to the end. Unfortunately, they are blinded by past experiences. Fang Yuan flipped around in his bed while thinking about this. Outside the window, the rain splattered all over the place. It was definitely a storm. Sounds of thunder constantly entered his ears. On the streets, Goo masters hurriedly moved about, the sounds of their footsteps and furious bellows never having a pause. At once, the cries of the wolves reached the village. This was destined to be a sleepless night. Whether it was the Goo masters who were risking their lives fighting, or the mortals hiding in the village shivering, or even Fang Yuan. After sleeping until the midnight hour, they naturally awoke. He did not get up, but opened his eyes in the darkness while lying on his bed. The sounds outside the window entered his ears, people's life and death battles he could imagine, along with the thunderstorm outside the village. Goo masters and wolf packs formed an extraordinarily lively stage. No matter which character, they were displaying the essence of life. Life was like a show, this was a good show. But Fang Yuan had no intentions of joining the act. On the contrary, he felt a sense of unexplainable loneliness. A loneliness with boundary. This was not because he was a transmigrator, reincarnator, or the fact that he carried an unspeakable secret. But because everyone was born lonely. Humans are like isolated islands floating in the sea of fate. Human encounters are like the collision of these loneliness islands, and once they touch, there would be an effect. Sometimes, the islands would stick together in the name of interest, kinship, friendship, love, and hate. But eventually, they would separate, walking towards the path of destruction. This is the truth behind life. Unfortunately, people are always afraid of being alone, they craved the liveliness of human crowd, and they refused to do nothing with their time. Because once they face loneliness, it meant facing pain and hardship. But once they can face this pain, people would obtain talent and courage. Thus, there is a saying high achievers are definitely lonely. This is the feeling of being lonely. Every time I savor this, it strengthens my resolve to pursue the demonic way. Fang Yuan's Gay Shan, thinking of the story of Renzu. Legend says, Renzu had obtained the Attitude Gu. Attitude Gu was like a mask, and without a heart Renzu couldn't wear it. Because before this, Renzu had given his heart to the Hope Gu, and from then on he never feared difficulty. But if Renzu wanted to use the Attitude Gu, he needed to have a heart. Renzu was troubled. Thus he asked Attitude Gu. He said, Oh Gu, sometimes Attitude says it's all. Now that I have encountered a problem, you know it. Thus I'm here to seek advice. Attitude Gu said, This is not hard. Renzu, you lack a heart, thus you just have to find a new one. Renzu was confused, asking again, Then how can I find a new heart? Attitude Gu sighed, Heart is nowhere and everywhere. Finding a heart, it is both easy and difficult. With your situation, you can obtain a heart now. Renzu was overjoyed, Quick, tell me how. Attitude Gu warned him, This heart is called loneliness. Human, are you sure you want it? 
Once you obtain it, you will face endless pain, loneliness, and even fear. Renzu did not listen to his warning, he continued asking. Attitude Gu could not defy Renzu's orders, thus he said, You only have to stare at the sky on a starry night and say nothing. Once you reach daylight, you will obtain the heart of loneliness. That night, it was a star-filled sky. According to Attitude Gu's instructions, Ren Zhu sat alone at the mountain peak, staring at the night sky. Before this, his life was very difficult, constantly struggling for survival. He had no time to admire this beautiful yet mysterious sky. But now, as he stared at the starry sky, his thoughts began floating. Constantly thinking about himself, such a meager and weak being like himself, living a life of constant fear and insecurity. Sai, although I have hope goo, strength goo, rules and regulation goo, and attitude goo, to survive in this land, it is still difficult as ever. Even if I die tomorrow, it is not shocking. If I die, will the world remember me? Will anyone rejoice over my existence and grieve over my death? Thinking of this, Ren Zhu shook his head. In this world, he was the only human, how can there be others? Even with Gu accompanying him, he still felt a strong sense of loneliness. Heart of loneliness. At this moment, when Ren Zhu felt lonely, his body suddenly had a brand new heart. The sun rose from the horizon and shone on his face. But Ren Zhu felt no happiness and instead felt an endless pain, despair, confusion, and even fear. He could not endure this loneliness and fear, for all he felt was the advent of darkness and apocalypse. Thus, he painfully cried, stretching out his fingers and digging out his eyes. His left eye fell onto the ground and transformed into a young man. He had golden hair and a strong body. Once he appeared, he kneeled at Ren Zhu's feet, saying, O oh Ren Zhu, my father, I am your eldest son, verdant great son. At the same time, his right eye turned into a young girl, and she held Ren Zhu's hand, saying, O oh Ren Zhu, my father, I am your second daughter, desolate ancient moon. Ren Zhu laughed loudly, tears flowing out of his empty sockets. He said, Good, three times, and continued, I have children now, I can finally endure the pain of the heart of loneliness. From now on, there will be people celebrating my existence and grieving for my death, even if I die now, you will remember me. Only that, finally, he sighed, I lost both my eyes and can no longer see the light. From now on, you too shall observe this world for me. It rained the entire night, only at dawn did the rain stop. Fang Yuan left the inn. Along the streets, the passers-bys carried heavy and sad expressions. This night, the clan suffered great losses. The truth was, for the three clans on King Mao Mountain, none of them escaped this fate, all had suffered heavy losses. Fang Yuan could tell from seeing the merit board. After a night, the battle merit board lost twenty-five small groups, all sacrificed in the wolf tide. Even if there was one or two survivors, they were either injured or crippled. The group Gu Yu Peng was in was among this. The dozen over days after this, the situation worsened by the day. First, the Hundred Beast King Bold Lightning Wolf had appeared, and then soon after, reports came in that there was the Thousand Beast King Frenzy Lightning Wolf. Information like this caused the rank two Gu Masters battling to be frightened. If they met the Frenzy Lightning Wolf, they would need at least three groups to cooperate to deal with it. This is not including the normal wolf groups together with the Frenzy Lightning Wolf. The three clans had to send out their rank three elders to deal with the situation. In this situation, the Goo Master's daily lives became very dangerous and long. Even with the stealth scales Goo, Fang Yuan had to be careful and meticulous. After all, he might encounter a Beast King class lightning wolf with a lightning eye Goo. The good news was that he had previously paid a price to be able to use the Earth Communication Eargrass. This investigative goo's range was very large, allowing him to avoid the large-sized wolf packs. Eventually, the weather got warmer as July was at its end. Even though the situation was not optimistic, under the cooperation of the three clans, the situation was under control. Somewhere near the mountainside. 
three Gu masters who had already experienced an intense battle were facing against a bold lightning wolf that had just arrived. The aura of death was impending. Damn it, insufficient primeval essence, if I had 60%, no just 30%, we would not have to be chased like this. Group leader Cheng Jian stared at the slowly approaching bold lightning wolf, like a cat chasing a mouse, he vomited a mouthful of bloody water. The mountain cliff is ahead, there is no path left, what do we do? A group member asked with a pale expression. What can we do? We can only put our hopes on the reinforcements. I heard Lord Binding Bing from my clan has come out of his closed-door cultivation and is rushing into battle. The two original groups, from both the Xen clan and Bai clan, faced the wolf tied together and cooperated, but now only three people were left. Rather than relying on the Binding Bing who is nowhere to be found, I'd rather fight for a chance to survive, Chen Zhang gritted his teeth. The reason why a beast king is so dangerous is because of the goo on its body. I have a plunder goo, it can forcefully steal a goo worm from my enemy. But it needs to be sustained when activated and I cannot move. During this period, you have to protect me. Okay. The other two looked at each other and stood in front of Cheng Jian, helping him block the bold lightning wolf. Even though they knew that there was little hope, no one was willing to resign themselves to death. If the plunder is successful, we have a chance to live, heaven bless us. Cheng Zhan's face was determined as he raised his right arm. Life and death depends on this. The three humans and one wolf did not know that, high up on the cliff, a white-haired young man wearing a white shirt was staring at this scene. Life is so boring. He sat on the ground, one hand propping himself up, while the other was pouring liquid from his wine bottle. What he poured out was not wine, but sweet mountain spring water. He did not drink wine, but only liked water. As this young man drank, he stared at the show before him. Fight and die. Such a mundane life is too boring. Only with an intense battle like this can your lives have a hint of excitement and color. This way, your lives has some meaning. He laughed lightly in his heart, not showing any inclination to help. Even if he had the ability, even if his Bai clan member was there. So what? To him, loneliness is the deepest darkness and the light of kinship is just a facade. He Bai Ning Bing would not do something as boring as saving someone. Chapter 132 Three-Step Fragrant Grass On the cliff, Bai Ning Bing watched with interest. As he sat at the cliff, a life and death battle was on full display. The bold lightning wolf took its move, slowly approaching. Two Gu masters blocked its path with a grim expression. Behind them, Cheng Zhan was half kneeling on the ground, his left hand grabbing his right wrist, his right hand in the shape of a claw, aiming at the bold lightning wolf. Plunder Gu, suddenly, he shouted loudly, all the primeval essence in his body gushing towards the plunder Gu. Cheng Zhan's right hand grabbed the air, and a sense of illusion made him feel that he had grabbed onto a goo worm. But this goo worm continued to struggle, contesting with him. This force was very large, his center of gravity had already been very low, but he still felt a very strong force dragging him forward. Plunder Gu's success rate is very low, but I have to succeed this time, otherwise we're doomed. He gritted his teeth veins popping up on his forehead as his expression turned ferocious, contesting with all his ability. Qing Zhan had no other way. Failure means death. Under the pressure of death, he infused the plunder Gu with all the primeval essence he could muster. With the infusion of the primeval essence, the plunder Gu residing in his right palm also increased its sucking force. The bold lightning wolf felt something amiss and started howling, attacking in a frenzy. The two Gu masters could hardly block it. Just when Xing Zhan felt that his plunder was going to succeed, his expression changed. Damn it, not enough primeval essence. He suddenly vomited a mouthful of blood, his state of health being at the worst. Once a plunder fails, he would face some backlash. This was a flaw of the plunder Gu. How? Without the plunder Gu's restriction, the bold lightning wolf opened its mouth and started to howl. The goo worm that lived within it used its ability and made its teeth shine with lightning. 
eerie blue lightning discharged and finally shot out from its mouth. The lightning shot through the middle of both Gu Masters, aiming for the half-kneeling Sheng Zhan. Sheng Zhan did not even have time to cry before he got hit by the lightning, turning into a piece of charred black cooked meat, instantly dead. Run! The remaining two Gu Masters no longer had any fighting spirit as they ran in two directions. The bold lightning wolf chased up to one of them, pouncing on him and biting the throat. The final Bai Clan Gu Master was blocked by the bold lightning wolf and could only retreat towards the cliff. Ah, I'm going to die. With his back against the cliff, he roared in despair, venting out the fear in his heart. But suddenly his voice came to a stop, he saw Bai Ning Bing on top of the cliff. Lord Bai Ning Bing, Lord Bai Ning Bing, is that really you? He was stunned, but then started shouting overjoyed. Oops, you found me, Bai Ning Bing laughed and raised his right hand. His right index finger pointed downwards, and an icicle instantly formed, shooting downwards. The icicle hit the Gu Master crying for help, penetrating his skull all the way to his chin. Ah! His face was still fixed with intense joy after finding hope, but then fell to the ground with a plop. The bold lightning wolf was shocked by the event. It stared at Bai Ning Bing, its mouth opening. Within, lightning coiled around its teeth. Ignorant beast! Bai Ning Bing stared plainly, jumping down lightly from the five-meter cliff. In the air, he clapped his palms together, and icy mist instantly formed. Next his palms splitted and an ice blade appeared. This ice blade was around 1-7m like the katana on earth with a transparent icy body. The handle was grabbed by Bai Ning Bing. Bold lightning wolf shot out electric light from bottom to up and Bai Ning Bing laughed while two lines of white water vapor poured out of his nose. The water vapor swirled around, wrapping around his body into a layer of water barrier. The water ball continued to rotate on its own, and the bold lightning wolf's lightning dissipated upon hitting this barrier. The water ball burst open, and the white-clothed young man appeared from within. Die. The young man's iris turned from black to pure blue, like two pieces of blue crystal, devoid of feelings and emotion. The light of the blade shone. Bai Ning Bing landed lightly, and from his half-transparent white ice blade, a drop of blood fell. Meanwhile, the bold lightning wolf stayed still like a statue. A breath later, fresh blood poured from its neck as the large wolf head fell on the ground, rolling several times. As for the body, it collapsed on the ground. The lightning current goo that resided in its body shot out like lightning towards Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing flicked his wrist and a light shot out from his blade. The lightning current goo under his sword exploded into a ball of eerie blue lightning current with a bang perishing instantly. Bai Ning Bing slowly walked towards Xiong Zhan's corpse. The other goo worms, they are all ordinary. But this plunder goo is slightly interesting. From Xiong Zhan's corpse, he extracted the plunder goo and held it near his chest. Even though the three clans have an agreement after a Gu Master dies, if anyone after that obtains a Gu Worm that has lost its Gu Master, they need to hand it over. But Bai Ning Bing did not care about this rule. Even if they found out, so what? He was the symbol of the Bai Clan's rise, and the clan would definitely protect him. This he was very sure of. Only, this wolf tide is really boring. He used his hand to caress his ice blade, feeling the intense freezing sensation. Come to think about it, it is more fun competing with someone. He yawned, suddenly smiling. I wonder how King Shu, Qing Lai and the others are doing, how much have they grown? After cultivating behind closed doors for so long, maybe they can give me a surprise, maybe. Days later. At the square where it was overflowing with people, Fang Yuan stared at a giant flag. On the flag, words were formed by the swimword Gu. The content was about the resources co supplied by the three clans. These resources were very broadly categorized, from food used to feed Gu worms, rice and condiments for humans, oil and other living necessities, to Gu worms themselves and primeval stones. But behind these resources, there was a number attached to them, corresponding to the amount of merit points needed to exchange for them. 
a wolf's eye was 10 merit points and 5 merit points was for a bag of 500 g of rice. Using 25 merit points could let a Gu master exchange for one primeval stone. Undoubtedly, the arrival of the wolf tide brought about an opportunity never seen before during peaceful times. The battle merit board and this resource board urged on many Gu masters, making them willingly bath in warm blood, hunting lightning wolves day and night. Especially recently, as the wolf tide intensified, the three clans brought out the savings they had and spurred on the Gu master's battle spirit, also raising their battle capability to help the village survive this ordeal. Thus, the resource board had many things that were not commonly seen. Like now, Fang Yuan's attention was on this goo. Three-step fragrant grass goo, he muttered, staring at the description on the large flag. Three-step fragrant grass goo was a goo worm Fang Yuan needed, as it could assist with movement, raising Fang Yuan's running speed. Honestly speaking, these days, the resource board had many new goo worms, but only this three-step fragrant grass goo was what Fang Yuan wanted except that this grass goo was not easy to get. It was not only the only one of its kind on the resource board, but the merit points required to exchange for it is also very high. If I use my true ability, I can definitely gather enough merit points to exchange for this three-step fragrant grass goo. But if I do that, it would invite the suspicion of the clan, and that is not desirable. Fang Yuan thought silently. There is another way, and that is to produce a large amount of vitality leaves and sell these rank 1 goo to the clan, exchanging it for merit points. But this method is slow, by the time I get enough points, someone might have exchanged it already. Fang Yuan shook his head internally, this method had a flaw that would lead to failure. Then what should he do? He stared at the resource board and the merit board, falling into deep thought. Towards the merit points, he had a clearer and deeper understanding of it compared to all the surrounding people. Merit points are basically a kind of emergency currency. During peacetime, primeval stones are the common medium of exchange. They were hard currency and had high commercial value in themselves, thus would never devalue. But with the wolf tide, the need for primeval stones surged and it could no longer be used as a currency. Thus, an emergency currency was needed to take over. Thus, merit points were born. With an alternate currency like the merit point, it can prevent the economy from collapsing temporarily. Like on Earth, when there's a war, the government would print large amounts of paper money. Of course, that causes inflation and rising price levels. The merit points are the same. The more it drags on, the more it devalues. But during the time of the village's life and death situation, without merit points and using only primeval stones is not sustainable. Thus, they can only pick the lesser poison. Hence, after the wolf tide, the economy always has signs of depression. Sigh, this rough form of an economy is nothing worth mentioning. If I am a rank 3, I can easily play around. But unfortunately, I do not have enough strength, so I am unable to handle the risks. If I push on, it is equivalent to playing with fire. Fang Yuan sighed internally. The point was that his cultivation was not high, and his strength was not sufficient. Without strength, only having wisdom, it is useless. Thus, in Ren Zhu's story, Ren Zhu chose to deal with the strength Gu, obtaining strength and giving up on wisdom. That is because strength is the foundation. Fang Yuan was still thinking deeply when he heard the discussions of the people around him. Do you guys know? Bai Ning Bing struck again. What, what, which unlucky Gu master is it this time? It's Qin clan's Qin Lai, that dejected looking one. Sai, what is this Bai Ning Bing doing? Last time, injuring Kai Shan and now attacking Qin Lai. With the wolf tide coming, he is still fooling around. He's always does what he wants, he is already a rank 3 Gu master, and is still finding problem with rank 2 Gu masters. For fairness, he even used a goo worm to suppress his own cultivation to rank 2. He is really bored and hard to understand. Bai Ning Bing Ha, HMPH, a person halfway into the coffin, but that reminded me of something. Fang Yuan upon hearing this felt something in his heart stir. 
he knew how to get a large amount of merit points quickly. Chapter 133, Thanks for Letting Me Kill You Sprinting rapidly, the trees before Fang Yuan looked like they were crashing into him and he quickly avoided them nimbly, pushing off with his legs. His right ear had roots swaying around, and behind him was a bold lightning wolf angered by him on purpose and several hundred healthy ordinary lightning wolves. The lightning wolf's speed was faster than him. Especially the bold lightning wolf, its streamlined body jolted around in the complicated terrain, having an extremely fast speed. Seeing Fang Yuan who was about to be caught up, suddenly his body had ripples of light around him, and he vanished. The bold lightning wolf had to halt its steps and observe the surroundings with bewilderment. Fang Yuan sprinted to a faraway place before reappearing again. Bold lightning wolf's eyesight was sharp, immediately finding him. It growled angrily and chased after Fang Yuan again. As for those ordinary lightning wolves, they followed closely behind. Fang Yuan laughed internally and continued sprinting. Rinse and repeat, he had finally reached his destination. This time, he activated his stealth completely. The wolf pack who came chasing sniffed around the area where Fang Yuan disappeared, and soon after, the bold lightning wolf found its new target. Not far away on the mountain valley, there were five goo masters fighting with a pack of wolves. Howl! The bold lightning wolf had limited Ick, immediately forgetting Fang Yuan. It turned its head and growled, and the lightning wolves behind it entered the valley's battlefield like tidal waves. How can this be? The Goo Master in battle saw this scene and despaired. Didn't they say that each pack of wolves have their own mobility range? We took so much effort to kill a bold lightning wolf, and here comes a second one. We're screwed. Quickly send the distress signal to the clan. This new pack of wolves joined in and the Goo Master's pressure intensified, their tone showing a panicky and flustered emotion. The investigative Goo Master shot out a Goo Worm from his hand. This Goo Worm was like a golden round ball but had a pair of colorful feathered wings. It flew into midair and exploded, turning into a rainbow flame, observable from a 50 km range. This was the signal goo, a rank 1 expendable goo worm often used to send signals. The signal has been sent, everyone hang in there, wait for reinforcements. The group leader shouted at an appropriate timing, slightly raising the morale and stabilizing their fighting spirits. It's useless. Fang Yuan appeared at a high point on the cliff, staring downwards, his heart smirking. This goo master group situation was already well investigated by him. The nearest group in the vicinity was also deep in the wolf pack's encirclement. That pack of wolves was also lured over by Fang Yuan to restrict them. Killing lightning wolves, each eyeball is 10 merit points. But on the battlefield, reclaiming goo worms and bringing them to the clan higher-ups is worth at least a thousand points. This kind of thing, after doing it two or three times, I will be able to exchange the three-step fragrant grass goo. Fang Yuan thought in his heart. Under his scheme, the Goo Master Group's fate was sealed. Next, I will wait for them to be exterminated. Then I shall lure the Lightning Wolf pack away and come back here to collect the Goo Worms. Fang Yuan walked to a nearby tree and sat down leisurely. No one was willing to die, so these Goo Masters put up a strong resistance. Fang Yuan did not risk it to lure a Thousand Beast King Frenzy Lightning Wolf, but instead chose the bold Lightning Wolf, so this gave them the opportunity to struggle for a longer time. Especially when among them, there was a defeated opponent of Fang Yuan's, Gu Yu Manshi. He had the monolith Gu and had strong defense, thus he alone could block many Lightning Wolves attack. But this was also why Fang Yuan chose their group. The more precious the goo worm after returning them, the more merit points are awarded. After bringing back the monolith goo, Fang Yuan can get around 3900 merit points, and that can let his position on the battle merit board rise by at least 20 positions. Of course Kai Shan, Mo Yan and King Shu's goo worms were more precious than the monolith goo.
As for Mo Yan, she had an even stronger investigative Gu master than Kai Shi, with even more methods. She had single-handedly completed Wolf Den investigation missions given by the clan many times. King Shu Group does not have a strong investigative Gu master, but because of Gu Yu Fang Zheng's existence, the clan has definitely sent a clan elder to follow and protect him. Thus, if Fang Yuan lures them, it is courting death. For the Gu masters and the other two clans, Fang Yuan was not familiar with them. Setting up others was not easy to do. After choosing left and right, he finally decided on a few groups, and after following them for a long while, he managed to find an appropriate chance. Bai Ningbing was sleeping when sounds of battles entered his ear. His opened his eyes slightly, the slit of his eyes shining with cold light. Another boring scene. He was sleeping on the edge of the cliff, and just turning around allowed him to have a clear view of the valley. He was about to go back to sleep, but suddenly saw a figure. Oh, his eyes shone with shock as he saw Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was leaning against the tree, eating a wild fruit he picked, staring coldly at the battlefield with no intention to help. Bai Ning Bing instantly grew interested, he had never met someone like this. From young, the people around him were all loyal to the clan and indulged in kinship. But from Fang Yuan, he felt a sense of familiarity, loneliness, and aloofness. Who is he? Bai Ningbing's heart developed confusion and interest. The wild fruit was picked on the spot, but with his experience, Fang Yuan could tell it was harmless. The fruit was juicy, sour, and sweet. As he ate, his right ear twitched, he heard something, and it was nearby. Bai Ningbing was sleeping on a higher terrain of the cliff earlier, but without making any movements, the earth communication ear grass could not sense him. However, now that he moved, he was instantly discovered. Fang Yuan's eyes shone with lightning as he turned his body to see a white-haired and white-clothed young man stabbing his ice blade into the cliff and sliding down along it, landing not too far away. Bai Ning Bing. Fang Yuan's eyes squinted, recognizing him instantly. King Mao Mountain's number one genius, the symbol of Bai Clan's rise. Killing a rank three clan elder at rank two, and at this young age, he already reached rank 3, a crucial person capable of changing the entire power distribution of King Mao Mountain. If it was other Gu masters facing Bai Ning Bing alone, their expression would be rapidly changing, either nervous or wary. But Fang Yuan's gaze only stayed on him for a second before looking back at the valley. His expression was calm, almost uncaring. This is because Fang Yuan knew all about Bai Ning Bing's trump cards and secrets, very clearly. Oh, Bai Ning Bing walked over, staring at Fang Yuan blankly. His mouth opened, dragging his word. He curiously stared at Fang Yuan like he was looking at an object he had never seen before. He got closer and closer. The more he looked at Fang Yuan, the more his eyes shone and the greater interest he had in his heart. On this person, why do I sense a familiar smell? It feels like I've seen him before. Like long ago, we are already friends, this feeling. Bai Ning Bing's heart was turbulent. Friend this word, he was always skeptical, despising, and even felt disdain towards it. He never thought he would have a friend. Those commoners around him, they only had the right to admire him, they had no right to become his friend. Bai Ning Bing always thought he would never have a friend in his life. But now he suddenly had this feeling. This was a mystical feeling, but he was very sure of it. When he looked at Fang Yuan, it felt like he was looking at himself. Bai Ning Bing got slightly too close and Fang Yuan turned around, staring at him plainly with his deep dark iris. Without a reason, Bai Ning Bing understood the meaning of his gaze. It was a warning. He halted his steps, slightly stunned, very impolitely staring at Fang Yuan while saying, A, hey, you really are interesting. If the Bai clan Gu masters who were familiar with him heard this, they would go crazy. That is because, since his birth, Bai Ning Bing had never praised someone like this. Fang Yuan ignored him, biting his wild fruit and staring at the valley's intense fight. Bai Ning Bing circled around Fang Yuan, observing him closely as if he was looking at the strangest food on earth. He looked from every angle, even squatting down on the ground and looking up at him from the floor. 
his silky white hair, which was impeccably clean like a crystal, instantly laid on the muddy ground, but he did not care. His white robe dragged across the ground, and he paid no heed either. This moment, he was like a pure child, seeing his playmate, curiously staring at Fang Yuan with a longing expression, many times wanting to speak but couldn't. Bai Ningbing felt that he had many things to say to Fang Yuan, but when he was about to speak, he felt no need anymore, because he felt that Fang Yuan understood. After being silent for a while, he asked, The valley's battle is not interesting at all, what's there to look at? Halfway through, his eyebrows raised, showing an expression of realization, I see. You lured this wolf pack, you want to kill these goo masters, but why did you not do it yourself? Oh, afraid of leaving evidence. You are too vigilant from your aura, you already have rank 2 cultivation. If I were you, I'll just go ahead and do it myself. Suddenly, he chuckled like he had seen the most fun toy in this world as a kid. His eyebrows darted around, you are really interesting, even the things you do are interesting. Haha, <laughs> I am starting to like you. Fang Yuan retracted his gaze, turning around and looking at Bai Ningbing. He knew this person. That is because this person is also a natural demon. What is a demon? Abandoning the worldly customs, treating the people of this world with indifference. Engulfed by loneliness and despising relationships, this person was like Fang Yuan's shadow, except that Fang Yuan was deeper down the path and Bai Ningbing was more pure. In simple words, they were kindred spirits. In his previous life's memory, after the three clans barely survived the wolf tide, this man murdered the three clans and caused the lustrous green king Mao Mountain to turn into a hellish ice mountain. Bai Ningbing, Bai Ningbing, Fang Yuan sighed in his heart, saying slowly, You're very lonely, huh? Bai Ningbing's eyes widened, squatting on the floor, nodding continuously, empathizing and sighing, Yes, these days life has been super boring. Some time ago, I killed a Xing clan goo master, and that was somewhat fun. Getting this goo look. Fang Yuan looked at the plunder goo in his hand, starting to laugh. So, you want to kill me? Bai Ningbing's eyes turned from black to blue crystal color as he jumped up and straightened his body. Ha ha ha. He raised his head and laughed thrice, staring at Fang Yuan with an excited expression. You do know, that's right, I want to kill you, come kill me too. Life and death battles are the most fun, meeting someone as interesting as you, I swear I've never done anything so interesting. He got more and more excited as he suddenly opened both arms, arching his head and sighing, Ah, I can feel that my life had never been so colorful. Thank you, thank you, although I don't know your name, thank you for letting me kill you, <laughs> Chapter 134 hunting down. Do not worry, you are only a rank two, I will not lower myself and take advantage of you. I shall restrict my cultivation to the same rank for your sake, so come, let's have a fair fight. Bai Ningbing roared with savage laughter. Facing the crazy Bai Ningbing, Fang Yuan easily maintained a languid expression. He met the heated glare in an equal manner, responding coolly. Wanna kill me, then come. Nothing left to say, Fang Yuan took the first step, his body drifting away like a falling petal. Bai Ningbing's laugh came to an abrupt stop at this, his voice easily tainted with anguish. Don't you run from me. He instantly ran after, engaging Fang Yuan in a relentless chase. Fang Yuan ridiculed the disheveled master soundlessly, sprinting towards the mountain valley. Disturbed by the two barging into the valley's inner battlefield, the wolf pack reacted with fury, wasting no time in attacking Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing. The Gu masters who had already been forced into the valley and lost one man noticed the spectacle, the remaining four revealing a relieved expression when they saw saw the wolves become distracted. Hang in there guys, reinforcements are here. One even shouted loudly, blatantly trying to encourage the wolves against the newcomers. Why is there only two? Another asked, clueless, while they saw the muffled figures of Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing. But as they got closer, Gu Yu Man Shi's face turned weird with realization. It's him. 
it was impossible for him to not remember Fang Yuan, along with a sharp feeling of fear mixed with shame, it was this man that had defeated and publicly humiliated him. Those cold, merciless eyes dug out the deepest nightmare in his heart. He would never forget that terrifying event and the fiendish man who accompanied the memory. He had once sworn to himself that he would buck up and reclaim his pride. But now, faced with Fang Yuan who was here to save him, Gu Yu Man she felt very complicated internally. Wait, the second person is. They all were able to recognize Bai Ning Bing and showed collective signs of shock at his appearance. Bai Ning Bing! Bai Ning Bing! Gu Yu Man she's eyes widened. He did not expect in the least to suddenly see Bai Ning Bing appear under such a situation. Scumbag, stop right there. Behind him, Bai Ning Bing was continuing to shout vehemently. Fang Yuan paid no attention, however, and transversed among the wolf pack. His body was glowing with a white jade light, protecting him from the rabid lightning wolves' bites and scratches. But because each assault made contact, his aperture's primeval essence dropped quickly in turn. Not far away, Bai Ning Bing's nose had flared and was blowing out water vapor, forming into a round shield of condensed moisture, enveloping his body. As each of the numerous lightning wolves hit this seemingly water shield though, all of their kinetic force built up by their charge was simply dispersed by the water flow, and they were quickly sent flying away after with the resounding ripples of water. Logically speaking, Bai Ning Bing's performance now wasn't that impressive though. He was already a rank 3, even though according to him, he had already seemed to have suppressed his cultivation personally, using only rank 2 strength to deal with Fang Yuan. Even with rank 2 strength, Bai Ning Bing's speed was slightly faster than Fang Yuan's, and he had more primeval essence, but with the interference of the wolf pack, his distance with Fang Yuan started to increase. The crucial deciding factor was the difference in physical strength between the two. Fang Yuan had the strength of two boars, while Bai Ning Bing's strength was of a slightly lower quality. Fang Yuan could also endure the wolf pack's attacks and continue moving forward. Bai Ning Bing's water shield, although it is able to mitigate some of attacks, could not open a path forward for him, unlike Fang Yuan. Howl! One especially bold lightning wolf began to pay attention, and was drawn to Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing. It howled, commanding the ordinary lightning wolves around it to give way, opening a path for it instantly. The lightning wolf wasted no time and spread its limbs, charging towards Fang Yuan. Seeing this scene, the four trapped Gu masters all showed expressions of worry. As for Bai Ning Bing, still behind Fang Yuan, upon seeing this new development, laughed loudly. But the next moment, Fang Yuan's body disappeared right before Bai Ning Bing's eyes, vanishing from his vision like a fleeting ripple of water. His laughter cut off abruptly at the sight, the other Gu masters in the valley being left similarly speechless. The bold lightning wolf howled angrily after having lost track of Fang Yuan, but did not reduce its speed while charging towards Bai Ning Bing to take its fury out on him instead. This prompted a smile from Bai Ning Bing his lips curving once more in amusement. Haha, <laughs> this is really interesting, you really are interesting. Ha ha ha, then I shall start my meal with this appetizer. As he finished speaking, his eyes transitioned, changing from black to a shade of blue, the same color as that of the sky. Taking a stance, he propped one leg up like a flamingo, holding out the ice blade and started to rotate. Quickly picking up speed, the ice blade carved out many waves of sword traces, maneuvering and slashing the air to form a scene similar to a tornado. The bright sword waves congealed into a blizzard storm and quickly engulfed the wolf pack. Numerous lightning wolves were torn to shreds by the act, becoming pieces of minced meat flung about by the storm. But not much blood ended up splattering against the surroundings, as it had almost all been completely flash-frozen by the icy blizzard storm already. The bold lightning wolf howled, showing its ferocity against the storm. The goo worm in its body started to work as well, causing golden sparks of electricity to flicker throughout its rugged coat. The hair on its body stood on ends, golden electricity flowed like chains, coiling around its body and limbs, 
Altogether, it formed what looked to be a modest chainmail. Its four paws sprinted, and it streaked like a golden shooting star, rushing into the ice blade storm. Bam! A thunderous explosion sounded through the valley as the ice blade storm came to a stop. A broken piece of the ice blade flying in the air and with a swoosh stabbed into a mountain rock above. The white mist dispersed around the area. The bold lightning wolf laid on the revealed ground, its heart pierced through by an ice blade. Such a fatal attack ended its life almost instantly. Bai Ningbing laughed as he retracted the ice blade in his hands, gloating in his victory. The ice blade itself was broken from the middle down, the blade that managed to survive full of cracks, seemingly in a sorry state in his grip. But Bai Ningbing did not care as he stretched out his left hand and wiped the blade. The icy mist from before emanated from his left hand at the touch, spreading across the blade starting from the handle before covering it completely. Everywhere it reached, the ice blade was regenerated, the edge being sharpened once again. Soon a new tip was fully grown in place of the broken end. The death of the bold lightning wolf had dispersed the wolf pack, but Fang Yuan was nowhere to be seen. We will definitely remember Lord Bai Ning Bong's act of saving us. The few Gu masters that survived went up and gratefully paid their respects to Bai Ning Bing. Only Gu Yu Man she stayed on the spot, his expression being uncertain. Back then, he lost to Bai Ning Bing and was very indignant, but was let off by the latter. Now, though he had already successfully refined the monolith Gu, upon seeing Bai Ning Bing again, he did not have any confidence to challenge him anymore. Bai Ning Bing snorted. Suddenly his arm moved and the ice blade drew a few shining traces in the air. This? Ah! The three Gu masters were caught off guard, not expecting their savior just moments ago to attack. They carried a look of disbelief as they laid on the ground forever. Bai Ningbing, what are you doing? Gu Yu Man, she screamed, shocked and angry at the sudden manslaughter. Murdering, of course. Is something wrong in your head, isn't this obvious? Bai Ningbing shrugged and laughed coldly. Accursed bastard! Gu Yu Man she tightly clenched his fists out of rage while he gritted his teeth and scolded the other master. Our three clans have formed an alliance, yet you attack our Gu Yu clansmen. This is a violation of our alliance treaty. If you have any problems, come at me, I'm here. Never mind, it is time we settle our grudge from back then. Saying so, Gu Yu Man she shouted and took a few steps, charging towards Bai Ningbing. He activated the monolith goo with all his strength and all the muscles on his body bulked up while a thick rock skin formed. His entire appearance had turned into a rock man. Courting death. Bai Ningbing laughed coldly, raising his blade. The sharp ice blade came down relentlessly, first hacking Gu Yu Man Shi's head, moving down past his brows before carving through his nose, lips and throat. The blade quickly came to a rest after it bisected the goo master down past his chest in an instant. Rock fragments flew out as the ice blade hit the abdomen, and the blade snapped. But the icy mist had already frozen all the remaining life force left in man she's body. Plop. He fell to the ground with a splatter, as dead as can be. The rock skin on his body slowly vanished, revealing his true form. Looks familiar, Bai Ningbing shook the wrist that was hurt by the vibration of the rock. He had pretty much forgotten the incident where he spared Manshi. He shook his head, turning around and facing the wide valley to shout, Come out. The goo masters you want dead, I've done it for you. Come, 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 let's have a life and death match. Just as Bai Ningbing's words had finished, Fang Yuan appeared not far away. The white-haired young man's gaze became excited as he raised his ice blade, slashing towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan laughed soundlessly at the act, turning around and leaving. Bai Ningbing shouted in anger that he was still fleeing, once again chasing Fang Yuan relentlessly. On the way, Fang Yuan lured Bai Ningbing to the battlefield that was the closest, where the Xing Lai group was fighting against another group of wolves led by a bold lightning wolf. This pack was obviously lured by Fang Yuan as well. Everyone put in more effort, the wolf pack is at its limit. 
The southeast direction sent a distress signal. It's been a while, they need our help. Xing Lai urged on his group, but halfway through, he could no longer speak when he saw Fang Yuan and the Binding Bing persistently behind him. Ever since Fang Yuan surrendered, Xing Lai no longer cared about him. Thus, his gaze quickly shifted from Fang Yuan to Binding Bing. Binding Bing, Xing Lai's eyes spewed fire upon seeing the white-clothed, white-haired young man, his heart uncontrollably growing with rage. Not long ago, Bai Ning Bing had appeared in front of him and attacked without a word, the event still fresh in his mind, and had been purposely suppressing his cultivation to rank two. Xing Lai was caught off guard and lost the battle. His personal honor and the clan's glory was all trampled by Bai Ning Bing ruthlessly. This to him was a big disgrace, how could he not be furious? Wait, Bai Ning Bing seems to be chasing Fang Yuan. Qing Lin suddenly noticed. His body was short in stature, his round bald head glowing with light. Qing Lin is the same age as Fang Yuan, but having B-grade talent instead, he is the number one talent among Qing Clan's new Gu masters of age. He was a rank two cultivator as well now, and after getting some experience, had grown up. Qing Lai suppressed the urge to attack. Fang Yuan was from the Gu Yu clan, not from his Qing clan. Even though there was the three clan alliance, they are still not close. Since it is an outsider fighting, it is best if one does not get involved. The Qing Lai group was about to watch on the sidelines, but how could Fang Yuan not expect that? One sentence from him changed their perspective in an instant. Fang Yuan quickly got close to the Qing Lai group, shouting in a frightened voice. I saw the plunder goo on him, protect me. Binding Bing is trying to eliminate all witnesses. Chapter 135 Northern Dark Ice Soul, Ten Extreme Talents What? Xing Lin was stunned. Plunder Gu? There is only one person that has this Gu worm in King Mao Mountain, and that is my cousin Cheng Zhang. Cheng Zhang's face turned gloomy. Cheng Lai closed his eyes, fierce light flickering in them. Others might be afraid of Binding Bing, and even he was afraid, but this fear didn't represent his weakness and cowardice. In his heart, long was there already thoughts of sacrificing himself for the clan. He had the resolution to fight to the death with Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing is the plunder goo in your possession? He stepped forward and faced Bai Ning Bing, letting Fang Yuan brush past him. Bai Ning Bing laughed coldly, so what if it is? Xing Zhang's face was as gloomy as water and asked, Tell me how did my cousin die? Why is his goo worm in your hands? Qing Lin also asked, Bai Ning Bing, I respect you as my senior, but you secretly seized our Cheng clan's goo worm and didn't hand it over. This is an open violation of the Alliance Treaty. After he spoke, he raised a signal goo in his hand. With a bang, bright fireworks burst in the sky. The colorful light from the fireworks shone upon Bai Ning Bing's face, he laughed, I have never cared about the dogshit alliance treaty. I only saw someone using the plunder goo and thought it was interesting, so I collected it. Xing Zhang was unable to hold back his anger when he heard this. He gave a furious shout and charged towards Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing, you looked while my cousin fought to death and didn't help. You bastard. The five-person group was an integral whole. For personal or private reasons, the Xing Lai group were irreconcilable with Bai Ning Bing. The fight was hard to avoid, the scene immediately turning chaotic. On one side was Bai Ning Bing facing the Xing Lai group's attack. On the other side, they were surrounded by wolf pack and still had to face their attacks. Fang Yuan left the battlefield and calmly spectated from far away. The wolf pack moved together like a large millstone and the six Gu masters fought with their lives, the slightest carelessness could land them into the wolves' mouths. Xing Zhang used roaming zombie Gu, his two irises turning gloomy green, Xing Lai's two eyes were red whereas Bai Ning Bing's pair of pupils were azure-like crystals. The fight between these three was the most intense in the battlefield. Under the roaming zombie Gu's ability, Xing Zhang turned into a zombie, his defense was amplified against water and ice, withstanding Binding Bing's attacks. Xing Lai used Grand Bear Gu, 
with the strength of two bears, his bowl-sized fists were without rival, and even Bai Ning Bing's water barrier was destroyed under their attacks. It wasn't easy for the remaining three group members to meddle in this fight, they could only do their utmost to fight against the lightning wolves. That bold lightning wolf lured in by Fang Yuan could have been easily dealt with, but it had turned into a huge threat now. Bai Ning Bing, you will pay for what you have done, Ching Zhang shouted and charged at Bai Ning Bing. HMPH just with you? Bai Ning Bing coldly smiled. He nimbly jumped back, pulling apart some distance and flung out his left hand, throwing out five finger-sized icicles. The icicles struck Qing Zhang's body, but Qing Zhang didn't feel any pain whatsoever. When he turned into a zombie, even if his hands and legs were broken, he wouldn't feel any pain. The cold aura in the icicles could freeze and slow down ordinary people's movements, but it only felt cool and refreshing to Qing Zhang. Zombie physique belonged to yin physiques, it had low resistance to fire, lightning and sunlight, but was very powerful against this type of cold aura. Bai Ning Bing, you are still playing in this situation, unleash your true strength, Qin Lai furiously shouted. Bai Ning Bing had been suppressing his cultivation base to rank 2 from the very beginning and was also mostly using rank 2 Gu. Cheng Lai felt like he was being held in contempt, he felt humiliated which caused his anger to burn even more. Ha ha ha, how can you minor characters have the qualifications to make me use my full strength? Bai Ning Bing coldly laughed, his attacks were becoming more powerful, but he was still suppressing his strength and didn't use a rank 3 Gu Worm. Fang Yuan who was spectating from afar with his hands crossed, clearly understood the reason. It is not that he doesn't want to unleash his true strength, but he cannot use it. Bai Ning Bing He, he has northern dark ice soul physique. In the oldest legends of this world, all humans are descendants of Renzu. But as the saying goes, the dragon has nine unique sons. There are no two absolutely same people, and even twins have differences. In this world, the difference that is of the biggest concern is aptitude. Those that have the aptitude to cultivate could become goo masters, going beyond ordinary. Those with no cultivation aptitude were just mortals, the lowest level in the society, who could be trampled upon and played with. Cultivation aptitudes were divided into four grades, a grade, B grade, C grade, and D grade. Everyone knew this. But actually, there were still more outstanding aptitudes above a grade. This was a secret. Clans would never carelessly spread this, and only after reaching a certain status in society could one know this secret. Qing Lai and the rest naturally didn't know, even elders and clan leaders might not know. But Fang Yuan, who had reached rank 6 in his previous life, shedding his mortal body and becoming a Gu Immortal, naturally was aware of this. There were ten types of aptitudes above a grade, and they were collectively called ten extreme physiques. Before Renzu died, he gave birth to ten children. The eldest son, Verdant Great Sun, second daughter, Desolate Ancient Moon. Among the ten, there was one named Northern Dark Ice Soul. Renzu's legends, whether real or false, alluded to many secrets in Gu Master's cultivation. Renzu's ten kids individually represented ten types of ultimate aptitudes. Fang Yuan recalled. Any one of the ten extreme physiques is superior to a grade aptitude. The most excellent a grade aptitude can only store 99% primeval essence in their aperture. But any one of the ten extreme physiques holds full 100% primeval essence in their aperture. However, everything exists in balance. The ten extreme physiques which holds 100% primeval essence is too perfect and heavens won't easily allow their existence. For instance, in Renzu's story, his ten kids didn't have a long life. In reality, it is difficult for the Gu masters who hold ten extreme physiques to grow and mature, almost all dying an untimely death. Of course, if they can really grow to become a rank six, they will be able to sweep through same stage opponents and even perform miracles such as fighting a higher rank. Bai Ning Bing who possesses Northern Dark Eye Soul is the same. With 100% primeval essence, his aperture is too stressed out and has the risk of collapsing any moment. 
To decrease this risk, Bai Mingbing must cultivate and use primeval essence to nurture his aperture walls and increase its strength to be able to support the 100% primeval essence. Thus, his cultivation speed is outstanding and shocking. However, high cultivation means higher quality primeval essence which subsequently increases the pressure on the aperture, instead increasing the risk. Bai Ningbing is like a victim in a lone boat in the sea. He doesn't have fresh water and can only drink the seawater to relieve his thirst, but the seawater is salty and will absorb the original moisture content of the body instead, making him even more thirsty. The higher his cultivation is, the nearer he is to destruction. Yet he cannot choose not to cultivate, since being from Bai village and the one upon whom the clan's expectations lies, he will also face assassination from Xheng and Guyu village. This forces him to continue to grow stronger. Being the possessor of the Northern Dark Ice Soul, he clearly understands his situation. Knowing he doesn't have much time left and his death being certain, he has thus formed this temperament. Fang Yuan sighed when he thought of this. This was clearly an irony. Excessively excellent aptitude didn't lead a Gu Master to have a meteoric rise, but would be the main culprit behind their deaths. Too much is as bad as too little. People need to drink water and eat food, but if they eat and drink excessively, they could die. From another angle, no matter which world, there is no true perfection. There is no perfect love, no perfect work. Excessively perfect will just lead to destruction. In Fang Yuan's previous life, three years after the wolf tide, Bai Ningbing's cultivation inevitably reached rank 4 realm. His aperture couldn't support the burden from the primeval essence, and ultimately, it exploded. Ten extreme physiques wasn't tolerated by the heavens and earth, and the self-detonation of such a heaven-defying thing was like the most perfect song, its power outstanding, directly annihilating everyone in the three villages and turning the whole King Mao Mountain into an absolute death ice domain. Fortunately by that time, because of Fang Zheng who had been making things difficult for Fang Yuan who only had an average cultivation, Fang Yuan could only join a caravan to go away, thus luckily avoiding this disaster. To delay his death, Bai Ningbing used Gu Worms to dilute his rank 3 silver primeval essence into rank 2 red steel primeval essence of his own accord. He also rarely used rank 3 Gu Worms at the same time. This was simply because rank 3 goo worms consumed great amounts of red steel primeval essence every time, resulting in the strength waning if it continued. Instead, it was better to continue using rank 2 goo worms, which would be of much more help to Bai Ning Bing in battles. This was the real reason Bai Ning Bing suppressed his cultivation. If not, having strength but choosing to bind one's own hands and feet, landing in a dangerous state, was something only a brainless retard would do. Bai Ningbing was smart and intelligent. He had received great training and education. So how could he do such a foolish thing? Except, such a temperament at his young age was indeed unusual. But as someone who was about to die, why would he have misgivings in his behavior? Such disregard and fearlessness prevented him from being assimilated into the system and nurtured a heart of the demonic path in him. Otherwise, with his living environment countless expectations, great trainings, holding honor, fighting enemies, bright future he would have already been assimilated into the organization system and nurtured a leader's temperament. Bai Ningbing was actually a pitiful child and Fang Yuan had no wish to deal with him before, but since he wanted to kill Fang Yuan, Fang Yuan also didn't mind making use of him first before removing this misfortune early. The battle was still continuing. In this while, the situation had already changed. Old Lightning Wolf was killed by Bai Ning Bing, and the wolf pack had ran away in defeat. Xing Lai Group's healing Gu Master fell under Bai Ning Bing's blade, but he had paid a heavy price for this. His right arm was viciously punched by Qing Lai, and it seemed to have fractured as it was hanging limply throughout the battle. However, all of these couldn't hinder him from occupying the upper hand. Qing Lai was a top elite amongst rank 2 Gu masters, his strength equal to King Shu and Kai Shan. Qing Zhang was a newly rising defense expert. Qing Lin was the genius newbie and now had rank 2 battle power. 
There was also another Gu Master, but even after combining their strength, these four were still suppressed by Bai Ning Bing. One should know Bai Ning Bing had already fought a battle before which had consumed a lot of his red steel primeval essence. He also killed Bold Lightning Wolf and the Healing Gu Master, resulting in his right arm losing its ability to move. He could only abandon using his ice blade with his habitual right hand and switch to his left. By doing this, he had to temporarily abandon using his icicles, his offensive power almost reducing by half. He was still occupying the upper hand in such situation and his dominance was even becoming more solid. It is after all the Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique. Although he used Goo Worm to dilute his primeval essence and sealed the true advantage of the Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique, the primeval essence recovery speed is still maintained. His advantage will continue to increase the longer the battle lasts. Fang Yuan looked at the situation and inwardly sighed. My current battle strength is not enough to defeat him, Fang Yuan calmly admitted this point. Fang Yuan only had C-grade aptitude with 44% primeval essence. Even the combined strength of B-grade aptitudes Xing Lai, Xing Lin and Xing Zhang were being suppressed by Bai Ning Bing. It was obvious that if Fang Yuan faced Bai Ning Bing by himself, his situation would only become more difficult than Xing Lai and the rest. However, not being able to defeat you doesn't mean I can't kill you. Fang Yuan coldly smiled. This was the accumulated wisdom from 500 years of experience. Although they had similar reflections compared to this century's old devil, Bai Ning Bing was only a little devil forced into it by his cruel fate. 